G'day guys, it's Mike from Battlefield Accessories here. Um, here with our latest product which we're naming the Halo. Um, it's designed as a uh, desk light for modelling and painting. Um, some of the features, it's got a uh, 50-50 LED strip on the inside here which gives you a really bright uh, light to work under. It's hard to see on this because the video uh, compensates for the light conditions but under here really detailed light, really great for working under. We added a few additional features on it. Down the side here we've got racks for bottles, so like Vallejo um, or Army, Army Painter type paints will go in here. Um, there's basically a rack down this side and this side which will give you 19 paints. There's also a tray across the top here, so you know I've started to put my glasses in there and uh, you know some of the Games Workshop style paints and things, so they're all there. And again, this is designed to supplement some of the other things because, of course, you've already picked up one of our uh, or one or two of our paint racks. So your paint racks are going to be sitting over here on the side. You're going to be painting here with the paints that you're using right then and there um, available for you. I've also added two little paint uh, paintbrush tool holders on the front there, so you can just stand your paintbrushes up there. So they're all ready to go. Um, it's a really great kit. The um, actual light, as you watch, if you watch the construction video in, that's going to follow this, you'll see that the uh, LED strips actually are removable, so as you can replace it if you like. There's other things like you could, if you really wanted super bright light, as you could add two LED strips in there. Um, we're powering it off USB, so a 5 volt 1 amp adapter, which is the standard thing that you would use for your iPhone. Um, we're not actually supplying that in the kit. That's something that you can get, you know, down at the local store for you know under ten bucks. Most people will probably have a phone charger, or lots of people use a computer at their painting station, so it'll power off the USB port in a standard computer. So it's a really great addition to our range. It's something that gives you enough workspace so as you can work and model with some really great bright directed light, but not too big that it's you know coming over your shoulder and any, any of that sort of stuff. The other thing, of course, is because we're working off LED lights, they're basically throwing out zero heat, and so you're not going to have your paint evaporating on you and drying out rapidly, even though you're under bright light. So, if you want to look at how to put it together, stay tuned and watch the video. Otherwise, check out the web store for the Battlefield Accessories Halo Desk Light. See ya. So when your kit arrives, you'll have two parts. You'll have the tin work that makes up the actual halo, and you'll have a package like this with the LED strip in it. When you open that up, you'll have a spindle, USB plug to plug into your adapter, and then the actual LED. So we'll come to that a little bit later. First thing of course we're going to do is we're going to desprue. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to desprue this one, then show you all the parts um, and how they all go together. So one thing to keep in mind, there are two sides to this and basically they're mirror images to each other. So you'll have lots of two of. So for a start, you have two of these, which are the side pieces for the paint racks. You have these bits which go inside those two for the caps of the bottles. And then these parts which go inside that, right, to um, give you the, um, the section to support the light. So basically these pieces together make up the side. You've then got four legs. Okay, you'll see that these grooves that run down it, they're to support those sides I was just showing you. So there's four of those. They should be two sets of mirror images to each other. Then you've got two of these. Right now these bits here um, make up the top rail, so the bit above where you paint. And then these two pieces, which are basically split in half, go together, something like this, right, and fit inside these pieces, which I'll show you in a moment. Then you have the two bases. Now, these have both got blatant advertising on them. If you don't like advertising, you can turn them over and they'll work just as, just as well. Okay, some additional pieces. These are kind of optional if you like. So these, a bunch of pieces like this. Now, these bits on the sprue will be called paint box. Right, and these are basically two boxes which you can put on the front of your stand to keep your paintbrushes and tools and so on. And then lastly, a bunch of pegs like this. Now these pegs are designed to help keep your um, 
LED light um, strip in place so as you don't need to glue it. Now you can of course use the double sided tape and glue the thing in and chuck these away. Um, for us we're keeping these and using them as you'll see. Okay so the first thing to do is to grab one of your sides. Now if I look at this side, got these two pieces. Depending on what you want to do, if you want to paint it, then I would suggest you have the cut sides facing in, right? Because where these cuts are, it makes the um, the teeth joints just a little bit uh, cleaner. However, if you're going to leave it open, I'd probably want this side on the outside, um, so you can decide. Either way, as long as the two um, sides are made coming in towards each other, like this, right? Then uh, you'll all be good. So if I show you what I mean by that. So if you look here, these two bits are going to come in towards each other and this top deck is going to go in between the two. Right? So as long as they're mirrors, that's fine. So let's start with one of them. Again, I'm going to dry fit all my components before I start. Now, bearing in mind that this side with these small squares on it is the inside. That's where the light's going to go. And so if I take this piece here, right, you can see I've got clusters of three and two teeth right? and they start down here and work up. So I'm going to flip that piece over right? and the only way it's going to, I could put it in this way but when I put it in that way I'm going to find I've got this piece sticking out at the bottom and that of course isn't going to work. Right? So I'm going to dry fit it like this. You see that goes in reasonably easily. Okay. Then my paint rack basically going to go so this dry fit and then my actual uh, part for my bottles going to go in something like that oops try that something like that now just a trick so you can see this the idea is that this top section here is providing the tail end of my deck which is running through that section there. Right, so it will be right up to the top on this side here. If I look down through these bottles right, I can see inside there the spot for the lids. Okay, And then to complete the thing now the other piece which you've got to worry about here is I've got this set of holes here Right now they are for the top piece of my deck, so again I can come along here, fit that part now. Once I've got all those in, put this place and piece over the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this together. Um, so I'm going to put that on fast forward, you'll get the idea of what's happening. Okay, so I've now completed these two side sections. Now I'm going to put the whole thing together. It's going to sit like that. Then this piece is going to slot beautifully over the middle of it like this. Trick here, these little square dots all the way along and on down the sides need to face into the middle. Okay, so as you've seen already, probably doesn't hurt a little bit of glue in these two teeth.
her over. Again, squares in towards the middle. So how you do your legs, up to you. My suggestion is stand it up so as you've got these up facing in the air. And then just come along and glue them in. The other alternative is to do the whole thing in reverse. Put the leg down the bottom, stand it up and push it in. I think we'll go for that strategy. Right, and I'm just cleaning off a little bit of glue that I've left lying around here. Okay, so quite difficult to see in this because of the uh, size of the frame, but I've got a structure here. I'll clean off a bit, few more glue drops in the top. Just make sure this is snug up the top. Now, a bit of masking tape you can wrap around here just to hold it in place if you want. It's not essential, but you could. Now, the paint boxes. Pretty straightforward. It's two short sides, two long sides. They don't have bases on them. So I'm going to quickly put a couple of these together just so you how they work. Oops. Okay, now to keep these nice and square, what I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to come along to my paint rack, a little bit of paint on the back of that, oh sorry, glue on the back of that. And then I'm going to glue it. right down in front there same again on the other side Now, because these aren't getting belted around by wargamers playing on the tabletop, you probably don't need as much glue as you would traditionally put on MDF constructions. Again, I'll allow you to be your own judge of how much glue or how rough you are at your painting station.
there's a design flaw because I'm covering up half of the Battlefield Accessories logo. So by the time you get this kit, yours will probably be fixed. Okay, so attaching your LED. So the LED strip comes with tape on the back of it and you can peel that and stick it onto your timber. For us, um, these things are rated for 50,000 hours, so at some point in time you're going to want to change the LED strips out potentially. Um, so we're, for our ones, we're not gluing them in. We're using these pegs right, to hold them in place. Now the pegs are pretty simple. You basically push them across in here and they're designed to sit in between the LEDs so as you can um, basically lock those in then later on you can pull them out as you want. Okay. Now the LED will have two um, ends on it, you'll have your USB end on one bit right, and then the cable that links through. So your first bit is to work out which side is going to be closest to your power point. Right, so in my case it's going to be this side so I'm going to start by putting my USB through that side there at the top. So I'm basically feeding it through the gap at the uh, top of the thing. Please note, if it isn't bleedingly obvious, I've got my whole stand upside down at the moment. Now this is one of my prototype LED strips, so it's not actually as long as the, as the one that you're going to get, so you'll have a meter. Mine is a little bit short on that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it in so my first LED over on this side is lining up in between the holes, so I'm then going to come with my peg and put them through from the back, slide it through. You hear that clip into place? So that's now holding that LED strip in place. I'm going to come along to the next one. Now you can put as many of these in as you like. Um, the prototype one I've been playing with, I only had about six of them in. I think there's 18 of these in the kit, so there's plenty. The other trick with this is that this LED strip needs to be closest to where you're going to work from. So I'm, this is the front with the paint box the paint box on it, therefore the LED strips this way. That way you'll avoid getting any glare because the LEDs themselves are actually quite bright. And so what we've designed is we've designed this front bit of the wall here right, to act as a little bit of shielding so you don't get blinded by the LED lights. Okay, two tricks with these. First one is make sure your glue's dry, otherwise you're going to end up picking up chunks of glue. Second one is they're about two mil above the surface, and so getting down at sorry, getting down at eye level makes a big difference for actually getting them home. Okay, so there it is. So what I'm going to now do is flip the whole thing over, fire it up so you can get a sense of what happens when the lights come on. Right. And as you can see as I put my hands in there, very, very bright. And if I turn that off you get a sense of the uh, light. The camera of course is adjusting. So you're getting very bright uh, working area there. Okay, so that's it. If you have any issues, then uh, feel free to shoot us an email, mike.parker at tpg.com.au. Um, thanks for watching. See ya. So when your kit arrives, you'll have two parts. You'll have the timber work that makes up the actual halo. 
and you'll have a package like this with the LED strip in it. When you open that up, you'll have a spindle, USB plug to plug into your adapter, and then the actual LED. So we'll come to that a little bit later. First thing of course we're going to do is we're going to de-sprue. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to de-sprue this one then show you all the parts um, and how they all go together.